With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A weight W rest on a rough horizontal plane if the angle of friction is theta. The least force that can move the body along the plane will be. So if I make a block, so let us first understand the angle of friction. So angle of friction is the angle that the net reaction by the ground makes with this vertical. If when the limb, what does it mean? If you see, let's say this is the normal reaction. And uh, this is the limiting friction and we know that the limiting friction is mu n. So it will be, this angle will be the angle of friction theta. And this will be the net reaction force. And it will be equals to the vector sum of the two. Which two? It will be mu n vector that is f, this basically. Right, uh, so you, you can do one thing like uh, you just uh, write down this as f factor since the direction of the two is different. So magnitude will be equal to this, right. So this will be the net reaction force by the ground and this angle will be theta and it will be when the limiting friction will act. Now if you see here, the weight is given, we want the minimum force that should be applied so that it, it could move. So let us understand that. So if the block, I say the block is moving, the reaction force will be acting, the net reaction force by the ground will be acting like this. And it will be at an angle of theta with the vertical. And uh, let's say the force is acting at some angle. And uh, the energy is in downward direction, W. So this is R vector. This is F vector and uh, this is w vector so if i write down the forces if you see this is theta and this is um, let's say phi so if i write down the fpd it will be the reaction force at an angle theta like this and uh, the f force is, is is acting like this and this is the W. So if you see here, we want it to start its motion. For that, uh, this reaction force will be at an angle of theta. Right? This is the maximum limiting force. And if I, if we are assuming it is moving, the reaction force will be acting as at an angle of friction. This angle will be angle of friction. And we took this angle as phi. Right? So, if you see here, this theorem we could write Lamy's theorem. We could write. You can also say it like a sign rule. We you have must move, you must have studied in the vector by uh, making a closed triangle. You you can take the base and the height and using different different side and you will find uh, this theorem Lamy's theorem. So, if you see, we will write down this Lamy's theorem as, if you see this angle is pi minus theta and uh, this is, this angle is pi by 2 minus phi and this angle is 90, right. Uh, so, from that, I will write down this W by the angle in front of this, it is uh, pi by 2 plus theta minus phi sign and it will be equals to f and it is sign this and uh, we will write down it is also equals to r upon sign 5 plus 90. So if you see here as you got this we want uh, the minimum value of f so I will write down this f is equals to the general value of f is, is equals to sine of pi by 2. It is, uh, if you see the angle in front of this, it is uh, pi by 2 plus theta and this. I will write down it is If you see here, we want to 
minimize it least force so the value of force will be least when this value will be maximum so sine value is this uh, will have a maximum value of 1 right so the maximum value will be 1 so if we, if i write down the minimum force it will be w sin theta and this is the minimum force that is required and uh, when it will happen when this angle will be 90 degree then when the theta will be equals to 5 thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today